Romeo. They hear the sounds of the manifold cosmos. They hear the sounds of elephants. 两百五十二，四十八 A. Chapter 十九 Horses, carts, and cows. The sounds of gongs, bells, conches, drums, and vs. The sounds of harps, bamboo pipes, and flutes. Pure and pleasing songs. And even though they hear these, they are not attached to them. They hear innumerable kinds of human voices, and yet they are able to discriminate them. Furthermore, they hear the fine sounds, subtle melodies, male and female voices, the sounds of boys and girls. They also hear the cries of the kalapaka. And Jay Bakup's Baka birds in the mountains, around the rivers, or in deep valleys. They hear as well various sounds of pain, and suffering from the hells, and sounds of hungry ghosts, who, suffering from hunger and thirst, are in search of food and drink. When the Asuras living along the ocean speak to each other and utter great cries, such expounders of the Dharma living here hear all of these various voices from afar, and yet their faculty of hearing is unharmed. Those expounders of the Dharma. Hear all birds and animals in the ten directions calling to each other. The expounders of the Dharma dwelling here also hear the voices in the Svara and objects in the heavens above the Brahma world, all the way up to the summit of the universe. The expounders of the Dharma dwelling here, hear all of the monks and nuns, either reciting the Sutra, 两百五十三，四十八 B, the Lotus Sutra, or explaining it to others. They also hear such voices. As those of the Bodhisattvas reciting the Sutra, teaching it to others, compiling the collections, and explaining their meaning to others, those who preserve this Lotus Sutra will all hear the Buddhas, the great seers, teaching the subtle Dharma to the great assembly. And leading and inspiring sentient beings, they will hear all the sounds, both within and beyond the manifold cosmos, down to the lowest hell and up to the summit of the universe. And yet their faculty of hearing remains unharmed. Because their faculty of hearing is key, they are able to discriminate these sounds. Although those who preserve this Lotus Sutra have not yet attained the divine faculty of hearing, they can simply use the ears given by their parents. Their qualities are exactly like this. Furthermore, O Satyatasamit Hyata, if sons or daughters of a good family preserve this sutra, recite, explain, or copy it, they will perfect the eight hundred qualities of the nose. With this pure faculty of the nose, they 
will smell all kinds of fragrances both within and beyond the great manifold. Cosmos, such as the fragrance of Sumanas, Jati, Manak, can 